man. I kind of miss Justin and Selena. I think we always know who Justin was meant to be with. Not that he deserved that person at all, but I think he missed out. I think he missed out. Haley, like who even are you? Like what even were you before you became a Bieber? I still have no idea because you were like non-existent. You were like a nothing. And you have the right to go and shade Selena because she gained some weight. Maybe she just started enjoying food, you know? Maybe she stopped starving herself. I don't know, maybe it's being with Justin that makes these women go crazy and like starve themselves into sickness. People are upset with Haley Bieber claiming she's throwing shade at Selena again. They're saying Haley using a song title to calm down in her Instagram is a sign that she's hating Selena. She's been over that Haley oh. and Kylie have both lost millions of followers on Instagram since the feud started. However, Selena has gained millions. Either way, I'd watch my back with <laughs> Haley because it's the calm down for me, like the baby calm down. And then she go like, and then you go and write that on your Instagram or your TikTok or your wherever. Like, come on, girl. It's not a coincidence here. And then you're commenting about how you're losing followers and Selena's gaining followers. Maybe it's just because she's a nice person. X for a reason. Oh my God. Yeah. Ah! Try me, trespass, she says. Oh my gosh. I mean, if that message couldn't be any clearer. <laughs> like, and you want love. You need, you want love. And you, you haven't been finding that love. So you're taking it out on me. It's a lot of love here. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. So this is Haley Bieber posting this to her story. Some random girl talking. So she's literally accusing, essentially, in a you know, passive aggressive way, accusing Selena that like, you can't find love. So you're blaming me that like, I essentially stole your man. I'm married to him and now you can't find love and he was your only love and I took him from you. And like, there's a lot of love here, so deal with it. How petty are you? If you were secure in your love, you wouldn't feel the need to post this. I'm reading right now. And I'm reading um, this book that my friend Anna suggested and it's called Relational Intelligence. Mm. Um, it's by Dr. DeHarris Daniels. Do you know who that mm. is? Haley, you, mm, in what relationships other than with your, your husband and your BFF, Kendall Jenner, what way have you shown to be kind? I mean, legit, you throw shade at people constantly and in such a passive aggressive manner. So maybe you need to read some books on kindness. Cheerio, goodbye. But here's my thing, like, does Selena know? Is, is, is Selena, do you think Selena is like checking out Hailey Bieber's stories? Maybe she is. I can just imagine Hailey Bieber sitting there on Instagram checking like every five minutes to see, has Selena seen my story? Has she seen my evil, passive, aggressive, shady response? <laughs> the joy you get, girl. My mama don't like you and she likes everyone. Ah! I love she she loves that part. <gasps> Period. What you see is is how she is and um and she's good for him. They're they're good together. They're adorable. How can you not like her? I mean you've met yeah. her. Yeah, she's so sweet. Oh, I love her. I think she's fantastic. And yeah, she's good for him and they're great together. Yeah. yeah. They're, they're a cute couple. Sorry, Haley. Clearly, she Justin's mom does not hate Selena, period. I know for somebody in his position, there's always gonna be people that don't care that he's married <laughs> and that will try if they feel like there's an opportunity or if they don't feel like there's an opportunity, they'll just try anyway. <laughs> I'm like, it's just up to you not to let anybody think that they can get that far. You know what I mean? Yeah. We just have built a lot of trust because we really went like zero dark 30. Have you? Have you, Haley? 
Have you built so much trust that you feel the need to poke fun at Selena like on the daily? Are you so confident in your marriage and your relationship that you need to attack someone else for their weight and their character, their appearance and all those things? And I don't know. Your actions are kind of contradicting what you're saying, what's coming out of your mouth. I'm just seeing this TikTok. And I'm saying she deserved it, but I'm saying God's is she for is real? Always Did right. she really? I'm not even like an avid follower of this situation, but isn't Haley the one that like begs Selena to tell off her fans for bullying her? Wow. Yeah, girl. Yeah, girl. I don't even just say it because you already said it. <laughs> this is me. I accidentally laminated my brows too much. My name is Selena Gomez. <laughs> She's so funny. See, it doesn't even sound sexy. Oh, these girls. The mean girls. Mean girls have come out to play. Oh, you ax this was an accident. You accidentally tried to copy our eyebrows and you overlamp like girls. Please, please, please. High school is over. Some of y'all are married. Some of y'all have like two or three children. Enough. Woo! Karma is going to be coming. I am telling you. Oh my God. Things are not calming down for Hailey Bieber. Here I am thinking that things are going to die down for Hailey Bieber after being accused of shading Selena Gomez, but nope. Hailey Bieber is being accused of shading Selena Gomez again, and this time I can't tell if people are reaching or not. Hailey Bieber posted this Instagram story with the solo version of Calm Down without Selena Gomez, and people are freaking out. Do you think this was a coincidence or intentional? I just can't imagine that she would do this on purpose, considering all the heat that she's been receiving on the internet. What do you think? Uh, I think that Haley just doesn't care what other people have to say because ever since she's become a Bieber, she feels untouchable. So I 100% think it was intentional that like, basically she's trying to say that Selena Gomez contributed nothing to that song and it's just as good without her. We all know that's not true. Bye Haley. Bye. In this house, we are team Selena. Oh, yeah. We are team not bullying anyone. Team Selena. So we're going to skip today's review. Wait, 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 wait. She doesn't even deserve a pink trash can. And oh. just like Shawn Mendes said, she. Bye. <laughs> she doesn't even deserve a pink trash can. He literally took Hailey Bieber's entire line of whatever the hell that shit was. Didn't even get to see it, but who cares when you're a bully? And he threw it in a trash bin that didn't even deserve a plastic bag. That is, <laughs> I would love to see Haley's face when she saw this. Please, somebody send me that video. And I'm just gonna keep it gangster, okay? For $360, I am oh, very curious brushes? why this is, um, so I call tacky. it vegan leather. It's like a plastic faux leather. It's obviously not real. And this does feel very cheap. So I'm gonna start the review off by saying this feels like it's from the Dollar Tree. Um, oh. Feels very cheap, yeah. Are we living for the packaging? No. It almost looks like, uh, like I don't know. I'm like looking at like this an like apron. tin foil. It looks like the shit they did in signs when they were like, ooh. <laughs> after paying that much money. Not me. So foundation brush, that's a little longer than normal to apply the foundation. Now the brushes mm -hmm. do feel soft. Is it the softest thing I've ever felt in my life? No. no. All right, you guys, foundation is <clears throat> laid. Definitely took a lot longer than normal. My wrist is like, oh Jesus. Let's go in with this for a second. We're already hating it. Oh. As you see, this is not blending. Could oh. have been better and quicker. There is no way in hell I'm gonna recommend to my audience that you guys buy oh. basically a $400 brush $400. set that you cannot touch or feel because of course, she's only an e-commerce brand. I'm gonna take the risk if you do wanna buy these of are they gonna work for you or not? Well, I love it. I love that he threw her under the bus and was just 100% completely honest about the crap that is her product. You win some, you lose some, Kylie. And in this case, you know you lost because you removed him from your PR list. This is the Benefit Hula Quickie Contour Stick. We, we go to use it and it's like, <gasps> no. Oh, <laughs> what happened, Ew. girl? <gasps> oh, it looks like a little piece of dookie. Oh my God, looks like I got punched. <laughs> Should we just take this and cry? <laughs> take this clean finger right here. 
Let's go right here. Oh. Oh, is it gonna be? Oh, I don't like that. Okay, let's try this. Nah. I'm not doing oh. this. Literally, it was like, I'm over this. I'm not even gonna waste my time. When your makeup is that bad, you need to stop. All the way down, still no product. We're halfway down, still no, no product. Oh, what right the heck are you paying there. for? So literally, there's like no product in here, except <laughs> to right here. It's embarrassing that certain people wanna charge so much and deliver so little. I actually love how honest he is though. Like, if there is one person to follow, it is Jeff Array. I'm still offended. Speaking of horrible smells, this one smells so atrocious. It smells Ooh. atrocious. I'm talking Is it? about overpriced horse shit that doesn't really work. I love our money. Literally, literally compared I to horse literally shit. literally zero difference. $70. No. For horse shit. <sighs> it doesn't even smell great. I'm like, oh. Okay, I'm rolling it around. And just like last time, I don't see much of a difference. I see kind of. Oh my God, he's so savage. Why isn't it speeding fast? Oh, Jesus. <laughs> I cannot do this. Oh, wow. I'm not touching it. How badly it spins your okay, brush. Stop, <laughs> stop dancing. <laughs> the tinier. Oh. I'm blending right now. Be quiet. <laughs> Got you, whoever made this product okay, is going to need to buy Jeffree Star some new brushes. Stop the, brush. the thing. My brush hairs are going to break. Oh, that is bad. <laughs> your brush looks terrible. No, that brush will never be the same. Oh Jesus! How many times do you have to? I pump? swear to God, I'm having I, I'm having a complex already. What is happening? Is this a fucking joke? <laughs> well, there's the product. Hold on. <laughs> is there nothing in there? Like barely. Oh my God! Is this not okay? Hold on. Oh, is, this, is this not sunscreen or what is that? What in the fuck? What does it smell like to you guys? Yeah, smell. Give it to him. What do you think, Zach? Yeah, it's 100% sunscreen. Interesting. <laughs> what, what the, the hell? hell is it supposed to be? There's no sunscreen in this. Why won't it come out the pump? I was like, am I... Ew, like, the I pump is like probably clogged. Oh, here it comes. I have to like Jesus. really... Okay. That Somehow took long opening enough. it made it come out. Interesting. It looks like sunscreen. It's like pure white. I gotta pull this out. So literally, this is supposed to be for everybody. Who? Everybody who? Everybody that's white? Girl. So if a brand Everybody is gonna Caucasian? have literally one brow color, I don't wanna be dramatic, you guys. I'm not into it. Let me just say, I would hate to be any makeup creator or seller that gets thrown to the grave, rest in peace <laughs> by Jeffree Star. I have to decide if this does anything at all, but like, I just think it's really cool, so I keep using it. It might just be like water. Have you guys seen those bottles of Evian that they sell in Sephora and it's literally just water spray? Are you serious? Evian water spray? It's like $10. Like it's, it's literally like the only $10. ingredient is water. And it's like refreshing face. Jeffrey, like water. come on. So say something. Like a spray bottle and then they sell it for like $10. And it just... I don't know who <laughs> is dumb enough to use that shit. Yes. Oh, shit. <sighs> Did you really get it? Did you really buy it, Jeffrey? Oh my God, that's hilarious. Who is dumb enough to use that shit? <laughs> literally water in an aerosol can. Girl, bye. The packaging looks beautiful, but then let's get to the inside. <laughs> well, this little glitter moment here is an overspray. So once you wipe that off, it's literally oh. chalk underneath. And I'm like, for no $95, way. this is what we get? Like, let's put it on my chalk. hand. Hi, it evaporated. Wig. I promise I went really hard in that pan. <laughs> I'm not making this up. Hello, I don't see anything. Nope, nothing's happening. <laughs> For $95, oh my God, I, I expected love it him. to be beautiful and blinding, and all I got was some chalk. And not even the kind of chalk that I can like draw on my driveway, just straight up chalk. For blush, we're gonna go in with this Kylie Cosmetics shade X-rated. This, oh, I was kinda oh, like, oh. first of all, the fallout is really crazy. I was like barely touching that, and it's like, ooh, Lord. Yeah. I expect like way more color. It's so sheer. He's so like, harsh. Excuse me. We're gonna need a little bit more pigment, okay? This just didn't have any pigment and uh, I'm bored. This is not looking that oh cute. Uh, I'm just kind of like over the brand at the moment, but right now, kind of like over it and just kind of like meh. 
you see it's Ma. not blending. It's really subtle. Girl, where's the damn lip brush? There is pigment on my brushes. There is fallout all over my makeup station. My hands are a mess. The shirt, girl. Yes, I hate my that. Thing, Bill. <laughs> we all know about this fiasco. When their yeah, shape what do tape I even foundation say? range hit the internet, we all gasped and threw up. We all know that most brands create more than uh, two shades for women of color. Oh, well, you know, yeah. this foundation, you know, we don't have that many shades because it's like, you know, you can use some for the winter and then you can transition into your summer shade.